In today's video, we're going over this Ring Keypads version 2. It has a Z Wave, so it definitely works with Home Assistant, as you'll see. Here are some Nerf bullets for you to see to scale. I don't have any quarters at the moment. There's the back plate to mount onto the wall, and then you just slide the Ring Keypad into that mount. Underneath is the uh, speaker. It is pretty loud actually. It's small but shockingly loud. I don't want to mount it in the wall just yet, so I'm just going to let it stand by itself. So I'm using a lid and then I puncture a hole, feed the screw into that hole. sliding the keypad into the mounts and then just slide the whole unit into that screw. Now it stands by itself. Pretty cool, right? I was about to use a 3D printer, but nah, that's just a waste of time. Let's get this thing into Home Assistant Hub. Scroll down, go into Configuration, go into Integrations, Z-Wave JS Configure. Click on Add Device on your Ring Keypad. Go ahead and plug the wire in to the wall outlet. This thing will not pair without AC power. Even though the Ring Keypad battery is full, it refuses to be paired without the power cord. It takes about 3 or 4 seconds and then let go of 1. Now Home Assistant should see the keypad and it's going to ask you for a 4 or 5 pin number. The pin number you'll find in the back of the ring keypad itself. If all is good and done with pairing, here are all of the entities that you'll see. Interestingly enough, it has motion detector. We can definitely use that to turn the lights on and off or as another sensor for alarm mode. There's a lot of other entities, as you can see, and I have no idea what it does, and I don't think anybody does. Whoa, 181 disabled entities. That's pretty wild. The keypad has about 18 buttons, as you can see, but sadly, we can't use any of those buttons. I've been using this for about a week now, and shockingly, the battery level is still 100%. We'll see how long it lasts without power whatsoever. Now, let's get this thing working with alarm mode because that's what we want, right? To have the keypad working alongside with alarm mode. Go to this website and click on the import blueprint. It's going to connect to your home assistant and go ahead and click on open link. Sign in. Preview blueprint. You can see that I already imported it and this is what it looks like. Click on Create Automation. When you create a new automation, you can name it whatever you want. The keypad will be that keypad. There's no other keypad. The entity will be the Alarmo. And that's basically it. Now you can use the keypad to control Alarmo physically. Go ahead and enter your code to arm or disarm. Here I'm going to disarm, entering the code and hitting that X button and the disarm, or enter the code and click home or away. Clicking on away, you'll see that there's a countdown for one minute. The LED is flashing, doing its thing for countdown. Now that it's arm, in alarm mode, home assistant, you can see that it's arm away as well. To disarm, go ahead and enter the code, and then click on the X on the upper left corner. Boom, there you go. Interestingly enough, there are five chimes built into this unit. Electric double beep, guitar riff, wind chime, echo, boing bong, ring doorbell chime. 
currently I'm using wind chime so that way if somebody walks by in front of my door then it will play this wind chime. If somebody ring the doorbell, the Amcrest doorbell that I reviewed earlier does not have a uh, physical doorbell that came with the unit. And this one is a great addition because when somebody ring the doorbell, I can actually hear the doorbell with this ring keypad. So let's do an example with wind chime. This is all the code that you need to call up the service. The wind chime is number 98. And the volume of that wind chime will be 50%. 50% is actually pretty loud. I don't know if you want to do 100%, but I usually use it 50 in the daytime. And then at nighttime, I set it down to 10%. There's no 0%, by the way. Well, I don't know why you would want 0% anyway, but 10% is the lowest. Let's take a look at one of my automation that involves the uh, doorbell and the ring keypad, okay? So in configuration, automations, search for my automation. My automation name is auto front camera frigate human detects at front doorbell. And then the ring will play the wind chime. The trigger is the binary sensor from frigate. The action will be calling the service is Z-Wave JS set value. The target will be keypad battery level. I don't know why this is so. You can set it to whatever entity you want, I believe. But let's stick with battery level for now. The command class is 135. Endpoint is 0. These two things you have to set no matter what. The property is the wind chime, which is a value of 98. I don't know what property key is for, but we need it anyway. And the value will be 100%, which is the volume. I love Alarmo and I installed it for all my family and friends. They always want a keypad and I get it. They want something physical to touch and we've never had such a good solution for it. I always tell them to use their phone to arm or disarm. Here is a viable alternative to using your phone to arm or disarm. And this ring keypad is definitely the answer that they're looking for. I hope somebody is a lot smarter than me to figure out how to use the buttons. Besides arming or disarming, there must be a way to press number one to turn on the lights in the living room. Double tap on number one to turn all of the lights off. Maybe press number two to turn on or off the music. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? But for now, it's just for arming and disarming and playing the five tones to alert you of something happening around the house. I hope you found this tutorial and guide useful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channels and thanks for watching.